So what we have here is our aluminium extrusion. This is adjustable up and down using this drive here. And the faceplate on this is not allowing us to fit the actual motor on, which is just slightly wider. So what we had to do is make up an adapter plate. And that's the reason why we had to um, right, countersink all the cap head screws. I won't do it right up yet because we're, the screws that we've got here are actually slightly too long. But it'll give you an idea of what, what we're doing. And what happens then is the motor mount bracket goes on. That's held by these longer screws. And these longer screws screw down into the adapter plate. And that also allows us now to mount our motor, which just fits into there. We lock that down using these, these bolts here. And that's just locked the motor down just securely. And what that allows us to do now is by adjusting here, we can move the motor up and down. We're going to make up a indexing right situation here so that we can turn that to a precision point. How that works is that for each one turn of this thread you're actually moving two millimeters so we can divide that out and we can get some quite fine adjustment. This will be the bracket that's going to the cross beam on the jig that we're making up. Now the other part that we need to make is a indexing piece that will fit onto this area here so what we're going to do is you know basically measure up from here which we've already done if I bring that around you'll be able to see a, a mark there. What this is going to do is slip over the end um, and we'll cut that off at that point. That'll leave us about 5mm gap here and th this will fit on. And we're going to put some indexing holes or a whole circle you know, on the wider, right, the wider circumference you know, of the um, plate. And that'll allow us to basically um, turn this to what position we need. We'll have a register hole that we'll put in here and we'll be able to put a pin in there and adjust it accordingly. So the pitch on here is two millimeters so if you measure from center to center or edge to edge it'll be two two millimeters long and what that does is allow us to basically divide that plate in half and we put ten holes one side, ten holes the other side and we can get 0.1 of a millimeter increments. So I've got it set up in the vise now, so we'll just cut this end off. Now I'm just going to um, give that a touch up on the grinder and round it off a bit. So. Basically, we've got 40 to 44 millimeter across we can go, and you know, on the wider part, and then we're going to turn that down to 20 mil for this area here. After we get that turned, then we've got to put a uh, 8 mil, an 8 millimeter hole. And then we've got to put a, a circular hole pattern in, and we've also, also got to put an indexing hole on the outer part of the wider disc. So the stock we're going to be using is 45mm and that 6061 alloy, aluminium. So we'll just put that in to the chuck. Just, just going to roughly center this up. There's nothing critical about this. Just make sure it's sitting properly. And the first thing we're going to do is just face off the front. So I'm just going to come in with the cutter and just put a witness mark in.
We've come in 15 mil. That just leaves a bit of holding for later on, which will turn off. And so that's our first witness mark. The second witness mark is the maximum length now, and we'll be cutting past that point when we finally cut through this, and then we'll face that back. So what we're going to do now is just turn down this front bit down to 20 millimetre across here. So we've got about 0.4 mil to go, so we'll take that 0.4 mil off, come in a bit further and face out, and then we'll move on to the next bit. Just rounded off those sharp edges and we brought that back to our face and we got that down to 20 millimeter. So what we'll do now is just cut this off with the horizontal bandsaw. Um, and as you can see, we'll put it a packing piece so we can keep this straight. So we'll just cut that through and then we'll be back on the lathe again. What we'll do now is just um, face this off and bring it down to width that we need it across here, which is 5 mil. So what we're setting up now to do is just to drill the hole that we've got to put in there. So we're just going to put a, a centre drill in first, just to start the uh, drill. Then we'll put an 8mm uh, drill in. So what we're going to do now um, is set up for the 8mm drill, um, I'll just touch off and then we've got to go in 12mm. So what I've done is gone in 10 mil at the moment. I just want to check on the thread that's going in there. Right on 10 mil.